It is the 10th of the 8th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. Let's go and get started on SOD.net. A mass of small volcanic rocks nearly the size of Belgium has been discovered floating off the coast of New Zealand. The stretch of golf ball sized pumice rocks was first spotted this week by a New Zealand Air Force plane about a thousand kilometers or 620 miles northeast of Auckland Island. Uh, the rocks da, 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 the rocks stretch for about 26,000 square kilometers or 10,000 square miles. That's a huge amount of pumice. A Navy sh ship took scientists to the rocks Thursday night. Naval Lieutenant Tim Oscar says the rocks appear to be brilliant white under the spotlight, like a giant ice shelf. He says it's the weirdest thing he's seen in 18 years at sea. Scientists say the rocks likely spewed up in an eruption by an underwater volcano. Uh, they don't believe the eruption is connected to the onshore ash eruption this week of another volcano, Mount Tongariro. And uh, they've got yet another volcano going off in that area. Uh, Ice Age Cometh. Rare snowfall stuns residents of Johannesburg, South Africa. First time in history all nine provinces get, same, uh, get the same amount of snow on the same day. Uh, people slowly came outside despite the cold and wind Tuesday across South Africa, pointed their mobile phones, cameras to the sky, opened their mouths, and tasted the rare snowfall uh, that fell on much of the country. The snow began on Tuesday morning. Part of an extreme cold snap is now biting into a nation still in its winter months. And by uh, mid-afternoon, officials recorded snowfall across most of South Africa. A rare thing indeed. First time in history. And another story on uh, a new island, question mark. Puma st stuns New Zealand's Navy. And they've got photos of that, of course. Over to the extinction protocol. Lightning seen erupting in New Zealand's White Island volcano. Uh, so this is, what, three going off in the New Zealand area. Flashes of lightning have been reported coming from the White Island as the volcano continues to erupt since Sunday. Uh, White Island, which lies 48 kilometers off the Bay of Plenty coast, was raised to volcanic alert level 2 after a surveillance camera capturing a small eruption from its crater last week. And uh, yeah, that, con that eruption continues. And a previously extinct volcano raised to eruption warning level in Colombia. Uh, eruption will be the first in recorded history. Uh, the recent increase, increase in seismic activity on the, under the Sotra volcano prompted, prompted uh, <laughs> to raise uh, the alert level from yellow to orange eruption warning yesterday afternoon. Uh, the increase has been detected on June 24th, and since that date, 6,891 earthquakes have been recorded, i.e. average of 150 quakes per day. Most of them are very small in magnitude, but the remaining 1,714, 1714 quakes were of significant energy and uh, concentrated in an area between 0.1 and 5 kilometers northeast of the volcanic summit. Uh, between the depths of two and six kilometers. So yeah, we definitely got a old volcano gearing up in Colombia. And uh, this just after I covered that story about uh, the hydro fracking where they want to tap into dormant volcanoes and pump millions of gallons of water down in the rock uh, to get the heat out for energy. Over to the RSOE quick. Uh, of course, we got the flash flooding going on in the Philippines. Manila is saturated with monsoons and um, typhoons. Uh, over 80% of the city was underwater at one time. And of course, we, we all saw the videos of the kids out playing in the street, uh, running in the sewer water. And a uh, heat wave in Colorado, flash flooding out of New Jersey, Pith, Ambi. We got some storms going on there. Uh, extreme weather in Australia, state of New South Wales in the Sydney area, high wind alerts. Um, they're talking over 100 kilometers an hour. Uh, small craft advisories, the bit. 
extreme weather in South Carolina, um, severe thunderstorms, rains flooding the bit, uh, trees down all over the place. Tropical storm in Ernesto is still rolling through um, South Mexico and uh, it's starting to fester out a little bit. They're saying sustained winds are right around 45, 40 miles an hour right now. And of course the flash flooding it continues throughout India. And finally tonight let's go over and go to uh, the nuclear stuff, any news. Uh, there's not a lot real new going on. National Guard, giant sinkhole is growing in Louisiana. Test for radioactive materials in air and water under a underway. Uh, they're saying the site was used for oil and gas production previously, and that's why they're testing for these uh, naturally occurring nuclear um, molecules or whatever, um, <clears throat> due to the processing, whatever. And uh, they're saying they're telling um, the Texas Brine Company, the ones that, that own the, the big caverns underneath that they store gas, uh, to drill a well immediately uh, to test and see what's going on. They're saying the hole grew over 20 feet um, since they last tested it on a flyover kind of thing and is definitely, definitely an ongoing situation in Louisiana and the um, Corn Bayou. Energy situation. As fractures sus suspected at nuclear reactor, 10 U.S. plants may use the same components likely to reignite a debate over the risk of nuclear energy. Uh, this is coming out of the Financial Times. And this is from the Belgium story where they had to shut down the nuclear power uh, plant to check for pracs. And uh, they're saying um, 10 plants in the United States use the same, same thing. And finally, Fukushima mother, we suffered from nausea and diarrhea. I wondered why the government didn't help us evacuate. Did they abandon us? And there's a video on that where the Japanese people are definitely asking questions. And uh, the corporate damage control is well underway over a year now. And uh, they're denial, denial, but they cannot stop the truth uh, from leaking out of what is Fukushima. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks.